Here we go, Kadari Richmond, number zero for the Seton Hall uh, basketball program. He's a 6'6 guard. He reminds me a lot of Luau Dang in the way he moves and operates around the court. I can't wait to get into this breakdown. He was suggested to me by Patrick from YouTube. Big shout out to Patrick for pointing him out to me so I can get my eyes on him. And everything I've seen so far, I've loved. He's not the most explosive athlete in the world, but he's got a lot of traits offensively, defensively that I really love. And I think they're going to translate really well at the next level. I can't wait to see what happens with him during tournament time. If Seton Hall can get in the tourney, man, would that be fun to watch him going up against some of the best. And in this breakdown, he's going to go against the Yukon Huskies, number five in the nation. And just you watch. Here we have Kadari Richmond. Top of the key. He is a senior, 6'6", NBA body. Got long arms, big hands. He is a plotter. He just gets to his spots. He's not super quick, but he just gets to his spots. Gets you on his hip. Uses that wide frame. Gets all the way to the cup. That can translate at the next level. To be able to handle at that size take the contact, be fundamentally sound, have nobody speed you up, just get to where you need to go. That's going to be awesome. Can't wait to get into the rest of this film. On this rep, I want to highlight Kadarius. Kadarius. I'm thinking of Kadarius Tony from the Kansas City Chiefs. Kadari Richmond. Uh, I want to highlight his lack of um, twitchiness first and explosiveness in general. Uh, he's very savvy, he's a very heady player. He's a senior, so you expect these things. A lot of people are gonna compare him to Jaime Hawkins Jr. because he's 6'6", NBA body, just like Jaime was, and they were both seniors, like 22 years old. They're completely different players um, in terms of athletic profile and burst. You know, they're just completely different. Jaime's way, way twitchier than K Kadari Richmond. And so you're going to see it on this possession where he uh, gives a little left to right crossover. A nice little stutter step move, but it takes him a while to get going. He doesn't explode into the air and he just gets his shot thrown back. You know, that's just, it's just the nature of who he is as a player. He's got limitations to his game, but he's such a smart player and has such a high basketball IQ, he can work through those to be effective. In this rep, we're gonna highlight Richmond being an excellent team defender. He's not super explosive. He doesn't have amazing lateral quickness, but he's always in the right position. He's always in a good defensive stance, right where he needs to be. If you're not familiar with being one pass away, what that means is if you're, how many passes you are away from the ball. So the ball's right here. This guy's one pass away. Tony, or Richmond is two passes away. What that means is the ball would have to go here or here and then over to his man. That's two passes away. So when you're two passes away, you can drift off your man here. This help allows you to be able to cut off a drive in the middle of the lane and then retreat back to your man. So what I'm highlighting here is just, he's in proper placement. And when you're in the proper places, you can get a tip, you can get a deflection, you can get steals simply by being in the right place. He helps on the drive, so he helped on the drive and then he recovered to the pass, using those long arms for that 6'6 frame to get in the way, cause a turnover. Here's a nice rep that illustrates Richmond's feel for the game. Shot clock winding down, his teammates in trouble. So you're gonna see Richmond just drift to the ball. 
So you see here how his defender turned his back and is looking just at the ball carrier. So he's gonna decide to creep into this space and just work his way towards the ball since the shot clock's winding down anyway. He gets a lucky break, the ball comes right to him. One thing I like about Richmond as well, he can finish with his left and his right hand. He's comfortable dribbling to his left and his right. He's got some polish to his offensive game. Oh, this has me fired up. Richmond is right here. He goes and gets this rebound and he starts the fast break. And just watch how smooth and how he goes at his same at his own pace and just as crafty around the basket. I love this. So there he goes, he boxes out, goes and gets the rebound, takes it the length of the court, goes and uses the rim so the defender can't block his shot. Goes up and under on the right-hand side, man. That's smooth. Adari Richmond is such an intriguing prospect at 22 years old. You can see he just is in full command of the game right here he's your point guard basically he t is telling and directing traffic of where everybody's supposed to be and where to go he gets into his matchup he knows that he can take this guy in the post since he's six six and he's just got superior footwork and craftiness out of the post i love to see this out of guards look at that up and under beautiful soft touch off the glass I like it. Richmond is very impressive. I mean, he's he runs the point quite a bit. And they, they let him decide either to initiate offense or just take his guy. And right here, man, I don't know if he did this on purpose, but he was checking with his coach to see what was going on. He gives this guy a little hezzy freezes him completely freezes him i mean <laughs> i mean he just stood straight up in his stance and relaxed and then richmond just with the blow by and then i like here he gets into this guy's body uses his left hand he doesn't get the bucket to go could have easily have been a foul i mean there's a lot to like with his game even with his limitations athletically there's a lot to like. Reminds me so, so much of Lou Aldang. Here Richmond shows up again, just knowing where everybody's supposed to be, overly communicating, and then just playing solid defense, causing havoc. Look, he read that pass, broke on it, got the, got the turnover. I mean, this kid doesn't have a lot of holes in his game. He's not shooting a high percentage from three this season. Typically, his jump shot hasn't been a problem. And we're gonna see later in the video some examples of his jump shot. He's got good mechanics on it as well. This kid's got some real potential. I mean, he's 22 years old. He doesn't have a lot of improving left to do in terms of ceiling. He can get better, of course, like quickening his handle, tightening his handle just learning some more of the nuances of the NBA game at the next level, but I can definitely see him playing in the NBA. Here we have Richmond, end of the half, low clock, bringing the ball up the floor in ISO. I don't mind this. I mean, this is a good look at his jumper here. Creates the space. Look how comfortable that was. It was easy for him to get into that. He didn't hesitate. Doesn't look uncomfortable. He's on balance. He's actually kind of pulling back a little bit. That's kind of weird. But his form looks good. His elbow's in, his hand's actually on top of the ball. I believe he's got some pretty big mitts. And the only thing I would say about this jumper is I wish his follow through was higher. His follow through is actually pretty good. His, his follow through is pretty good. He just needs to hold it there. He needs to hold it up there. His follow through wasn't bad. His J, his J isn't going to be a problem. It isn't. He's got nice form. In this rep, we have Andre Richmond. 
Richmond on the fast break. And I got to tell you, this is tough. UConn's number five overall team right now, college basketball. He just takes this Euro in between two defenders. You see, look at this Euro. One, two. Keeps the ball nice and high away from the defender. And then he gets jelly with it. Takes the contact. He's just strong with a nice touch. Rolls that baby in. That's special, man. Not everybody can do that. Here's an example of Kadari Richmond's ability to create for others. He takes his man off the dribble here. Goes off the pick and roll. You see how he's continually hand fighting to get this guy on his hip? Once he has you on his hip, that big frame and, and he's 6'6", he's just gonna get to the basket. And now he's drawn three people. We got one, two, three. He's drawn three people to him. This His guy doesn't convert, unfortunately, but that will translate at the next level, being able to do that. You can tell a lot by who has the ball in these closing moments of a ball game against the number five team in the country. Is it your point guard? This guy over here? No, it's Padre Richmond. Padre. Padre? Padre? Padre Richmond. <laughs> and he delivers, man. He's got such a nice feel for the game. It's just, I mean, you can tell he's 22, but it's not like he's 22 and he should be doing more. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to against the competition. Creates that space, takes the nice J. He knows it's going to be short, so he follows his shot just like you're taught. Easy lay-in. The guy is impressive. He's an impressive prospect. Oh, man, this dude, man. This dude just pops off the tape. Kadari Richmond gets the ball off the press breaker. There's tons of space here in the middle of the lane. He just takes the space, uses his body. See that little head and shoulder fake? Gets the guy moving. Oh, takes the contact. Uses the left hand. Jelly! Off the glass. I like it, man. I like it a lot. Ooh, a little sham god, maybe? Uh, kind of a little sham god there. Ooh! Smirk on him, young fella. Adari Richmond. In the backcourt, breaking the press. The senior, showing off his basketball IQ. But what I can't get over is his handle. I mean, he's got the ball on a string at times. A little, ooh, a little in and out, whoop! Creates for his teammate. Now his coach, his coach is like, get back, get back on D. Also, we're up, we're up. We are up on the scoreboard by a lot and we're shooting with 30 seconds on the shot clock. What are we doing? But when you create wide open looks like that, woo, baby. Richmond, man, you got something with this guy. Dari Richmond. Again, the end of the game, close out the number one, five team in the country. Oh my goodness. When you think it doesn't get any better, he puts the hezzy on him, gets into the body, a little left hand jelly, baby. I mean, too easy. That's light work, man. That's light work. And that is it for Kadari Richmond. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I had a blast breaking him down. He is definitely going to be somebody to watch in the 2024 NBA draft. Appreciate everybody for sticking with us. Uh, this channel is flying. Thanks to, again to Patrick for the suggestion in the comments. If you have somebody you think is worth our time breaking down, let me know. I'll be more than happy to take a look at them. Uh, take care. See you next time.